T-minus 15 seconds and counting. T-minus 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, ignition, liftoff. Nominal power and telemetry. So we are about a minute into liftoff. Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Space Launch Complex 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. In just a few seconds here, we are expecting the call out for max Q. That is the period where the vehicle will experience the highest amount of aerodynamic pressures. Max Q. And there was the call out. So now that we've gone uh, past the period of high stresses on the vehicle, we have three events happening in quick succession in about a minute. First, we have uh, main engine cutoff, also referred to as MECO. Uh, then stage separation, followed by second engine start one, also known as SES one. Main engine cutoff is where all nine Merlin engines on the first stage will shut down to slow the vehicle down in preparation for stage separation. During stage separation, the first and second stage will separate from one another. The first stage will make its way back to Earth for landing, while the second stage continues its journey with our satellites uh, with the third event, which is uh, second engine start one. The single Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage will then ignite and continue to propel those um, Starlink satellites and Black Sky satellites into orbit. Nico. Stage separation confirmed. And so you can see on screen we had successful main engine cutoff, uh, followed by stage separation, and on the right hand side of the screen, that is the single Merlin vacuum engine going red hot. Uh, on the left hand side of the screen is a view of our first stage. I think we're getting some views of the of twilight right now as the sun has just set uh, in the east coast. In a few seconds, we are expecting fairing deploy, and that will expose the satellites to the vacuum of space. Fairing separation confirmed. We got the audio and video confirmation on the right-hand side of your screen. Uh, the fairing halves have deployed. We are going to attempt to recover those uh, using our recovery vessel, Bob, later on in the mission. Uh, for now, the uh, mission is going great. Uh, again, uh, the left-hand side is a view from the top of our first stage looking downward. Um, you can see little plumes of gas coming out. That is nitrogen uh, for our, uh, as part of our attitude control system to help orient the, the first stage booster properly as it makes its way back to attempt its ninth landing on our drone ship in the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, right hand side is a view of the second stage Merlin vacuum engine, the uh, 48 Starlink satellites and the two Black Sky satellites that we had mentioned earlier. They are signal. on the Bermuda. opposite end of that engine. And so again, they are um, going to be um, in this burn for another couple of minutes um, as they continue to make their way to low Earth orbit. So in order to make its way back to the uh, 
drone ship, the first stage needs to execute two burns. Uh, the first is an entry burn where three of the Merlin 1D engines uh, will ignite. Uh, this helps to slow the stage down as it re-enters the upper parts of the Earth's atmosphere. The second burn is the landing burn. This is a single engine burn, and this will bring the vehicle speed down rapidly in order to land on our drone ship. Trajectory nominal. That first burn, the entry burn, is expected to start around T plus 6 minutes and 22 seconds and last for about 20 seconds. For those that are just joining us, we are in the middle of SpaceX's 27th mission of 2021. Both stages have separated. We did have a successful liftoff from Space Launch Complex 40. Things are continuing to go well for tonight's mission. So we are about 20 seconds away from the beginning of that entry burn on the first stage. Uh, we do have camera views right now. It is a little dark, but as soon as that entry burn starts, we should see that first stage um, being lit up as it will slow itself down before hitting the denser parts of the Earth's atmosphere. Stage one, entry burn start up. On flight termination system is saved. All right, three engines have relit on the first stage. If you're keeping track, at the bottom left-hand side of the screen, there is a um, speedometer of sorts. That is tracking the velocity of the first stage. You can see that we're starting to reduce that stage velocity. One, burn, shut down. If you keep an eye on that, as soon as the first stage hits the denser parts of the atmosphere, we'll continue to slow down um, its speed in preparation for the next burn, the landing burn. And that landing burn is... Uh, expected to happen a few seconds after the T plus eight minute mark. Trajectory nominal. The MVAC engine performance on the second stage continues to go well. A few seconds after we complete the landing burn, uh, we are expecting to turn off this engine and enter a coast phase. And as a reminder, we will be reigniting this engine about 50 minutes from now. Um, Stage one, London burn. There's the call out. Uh, the landing burn has begun. Terminal guidance. In just a few seconds here, we're going to see if we can land this first stage booster for the ninth time. Stage one, London leg deploy. You can hear the cheer and the applause, and there's the visual. This first stage booster has landed nine times. This marks stage our 89th point. overall successful recovery of a Falcon 9 first signal. stage. Cape. And the 129th successful flight of a saved. Falcon 9 first stage. So what we're waiting on now is confirmation of second engine cutoff, as Not well as insertion. confirmation of a good orbital insertion. As I was speaking, we did get that confirmation. Um, so the second stage, uh, with all of its satellites, are entering a coast phase for about 50 minutes. We're going to leave you with some space tunes, and we'll be back here at the T-plus 59-minute mark.
Acquisition of signal, Newfoundland.